Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if Windows has successfully loaded the device driver for the hardware but cannot find the hardware device code 41 error you're getting when attempting to update your drivers. So this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So we are going to start off by actually opening up the start menu. Just left click on the start button one time. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best result should go back to registry editor. You want to right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now I'm going to have a registry path in the description of my video. I'm going to have it down there so I want you guys to copy it. And then once you've copied it to your clipboard, so whether you want to go and use the keyboard shortcut control C or highlight over it and right click and copy doesn't matter to me but then you want to go over to the registry editor here select the file tab and then export file name name this the date in which you are making this backup name it today's date export range keep it at all and then save it to a convenient location on your computer this is creating a backup by the way and if you ever need to import it back in, you would select file and then import and then navigate to the file location. But now that you've made the backup and you have the registry path that we're going to be working with in your clipboard, you're going to go up to this top bar, this address bar, and you're going to delete whatever's in here and paste in what we just copied. Hit enter on your keyboard. So now that we're here, you want to delete both the upper and the lower filters. So I just want to delete both of these here. And once it's done, you do want to go ahead and restart your computer and then attempt to check for updates for your drivers once again. And that should hopefully have been able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.